In this episode, I'm going to talk about peering IPv6 BGP using loopback addresses. So, with an update source and either eBGP multi hop or the disabling of the connected check, which I'm going to do in this example. So, it's very similar to configuring IPv4. However, we need to make sure that we activate neighbors in the address family that's not done automatically for us. So, I have a simple network, two routers, serial interface, common subnet and I'm going to peer between these loopback addresses that, that are being advertised through a static route so no IGP in this network. So let's take a look at the configuration. So if I go on R1, if I show IP6 and if it's brief, I can see that I have the link local address on serial 1, I have this global address and I have two loopbacks, one of, the, one of which I'm going to advertise as a prefix over BGP to see if prefixes are exchanged. So if I ping uh, router 2, that should be reachable just fine. So if I show IPv6 route, I can see that I actually have a static route 2 column 2 pointing to that address. So ping 2 column 2, source loopback 0 should be working just fine. So that's how we can know that we won't have any problems with uh, the BGP configuration. So this is the basic configuration. If you do not have any IPv4 addresses on the router, you still need to specify an IPv4 style address with the BGP router ID, otherwise it will not work. And now I'm basically specifying the neighbor statements, remote AS2, update source loopback 0, and instead of saying eBGP multi hop, I'm saying disable connected check. So that's an alternative way to do this. And you go under this address family and say the neighbor activate and um, if you want to send over communities and stuff like that. So I'm also going to add IP6 unicast routing because that's important as well, even though that's already configured on the router. And I'm advertising this specific network. So let's paste this in. And for router 2, I just need to change a couple of these addresses around. One column 1, um, one column 1 over here, and 2. 22 column 22 over here, so that should be enough for router 2. Let's paste this in. And our neighbor should be coming up shortly. There it is. And of course with BGP, IPv6 BGP, we won't have uh, any use of this show IP BGP or show IP BGP summary. We need to show BGP IPv6 unicast summary. And here we can see that this neighbor is active. And here we can see our router ID and in this case I'm having I've received zero prefixes so let's say if we are at let's see if we're actually advertising anything to neighbor to advertise routes and that is zero as well so we have to wait a while for BGP to start functioning which would take about a minute I think So, as you can see, it's, it's very similar to configuring IPv4 BGP. However, in this case, I'm using the disabled connected check instead of the eBGP multi-op command, both of which will work fine. And there we go. Now we have received the prefix from R2, and we are advertising our own prefix over here. So, if I try to reach this address, sourcing it from loopback1 in this case, I have full reachability. If I show IP6 route, BGP, it is in here as well. So that's basically it for IP6 BGP peering with using loopbacks. Thank you for your time.